Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. <laughs> and, and cats. Very hyper cats. Oh my goodness. That little black and white cat is very excited right yes. now. Aren't you? Yeah, he's running all over the place. <laughs> he's crazy. <laughs> Uh, tonight, we're going to be playing two 7800 games. Nice. Let's put this up here. We are going to be playing an update to Tur Turmoil Dreadnought Assault, a space shooter. And we're going to be playing the retail version of Mattress Monkeys <laughs> that was just released at PRGE. <laughs> that is a very, very special cartridge. Um, but first, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. Scrolling beside Tanya right there. Right Alan for Andrew, Atari, and I, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Atari Dude, Pierre Pocock, Bruno Stax, Burst Era, Captain Class, Charles, Donnie Mal, Charles Wynn, Chitlala, Cubanism, Dan AVC, Dave M. Drexel, Dr. Moo, Cows, Eric Cart, Gamma Dev, Great Defender, Ultra Ju, JGWC, uh, JG, Johnny WC, Computer Coder, Carl G, Karakai, Croc, 2600, Develt for Lambert Express, Mandy Sippy T, Mark Yaz, Mark's Basic, Metal Moon, Lunar, Mix Muse, Mike Sol, McDowell, Mr. Fix, Mighty Fonson, Nathan Storm, Nostalgia Pack, Rep Pro 7, Koag, R. Antwoods, Raymond, CBR, 70, Rendy Ghost, Brentless, V, Rev, and Tulliver, Six Feet, Smitty B, Spice Wars, Spindly, Esmeres, Tiki, Dan, K, Tr Thrust, Teach Foes, Trek, M, D, Tweeny, to Tweeny, uh, Vexor, X, V, Toko, VG, Double Down, and X, Ken X. Woo! And... Good job, good job. Also, <gasps> oh! Bernie attack! Bernie! Um, <laughs> no! No! And just be just before the show, uh, Rendered Ghost and Ricardo Pym oh, both thank you. resubscribed. Oh. Thank you so much. Save Bernie! That's right. <laughs> um, and if you want to support the show, mm -hmm. you can. Just hit subscribe. Mm -hmm. It's free with Amazon Prime and not free without it. Or you can just follow if you want to know when we're on. Um, so, um... Bernie must fall. Bernie must <laughs> fall. His rule has gone on too long. Yes. Uh, first of all, I want to say to the community members and viewers in Florida, please stay yeah. safe. Yeah, oh it my is, gosh. Situation is dire there. Oh. Uh, Pac-Man Plus and Trevor are there. Stay yeah. safe. I'm sure yes. there's many others as well. So um, please be careful yes. and heed the warnings. Yes. It looks bad bad it does oh, look bad my goodness yeah uh we have uh some amazing shows coming up soon on zph this friday we have the exclusive world premiere of spiders arcade from champ games and we'll have john shampoo on the show mm -hmm. uh we're going to be doing a, a vectrex special we're going to be having a spotlight on the immortal john hancock on the 29th hey, this hey. month excellent uh, we're going to have a spotlight on Albert Russo and Chris Walton, along with the release of Xevious. We're going to be doing Atari Age Day 2024 for all the new releases that are coming from Atari Age nice. when they get placed in the store. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also going to be talking with Bob DeCrescenzo about his new Atari 7800 game through Atari, the first one in 33 years from Atari, new Ooh. one. Uh, Bounty Bob Strikes Bat will have the exclusive world premiere of that and also the exclusive world premiere of Casey's Gold from Audacity oh, Games. World, world premieres coming up. Yes. New games. It's awesome. There was kind of a... A lull. A lull That's in game development in for summer. a while and That's then it got quiet and now there's... It's all exploded. And we'll be talking with, wrong with you? Dan Kitchen, this the developer guy. of Casey's Gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's usually a lull just before PRG. Everybody's trying to get demos done, trying to fix up their games for cartridge release, etc., etc. Um, We have some mail. A whole bunch of mail. Oh, my God, so much mail. But first, uh, you forgot these because we couldn't find them. So Oh, wanna... you found them. Yeah. You want me to show them off? Yeah, show them off, please. We pick, so, oh, things we picked up at PRG. Now I've got a cat in my lap. That's uh, I got two. They're just little keychains. I think they're just going, going to be uh, prizes for our retro game night whenever okay. we have that. So Kev, it's coming up. Probably <laughs> November? Early December, Recent maybe? Some games are lame. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> uh, and maybe you can... Bring it up to the screen since sure. I'm I'm cat. They're just little little like wrists. You can put them around your wrist and put your keys on them like a keychain. One is Contra and one is Metroid themed. 
I thought they were super cute. Very cute. And they've got that nice woven background, so they'd be really, really tough. I like that a lot, actually. So if you have lots of keys, you can have both. Or like, you know, like a tag or thing you have to swipe when you go into work. Yeah, anyway, I thought convenient. they were really cute. One of one of the sellers at PRG had them, so. Which one would I pick? That's Which one would Contra. you pick? Probably Contra. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, if you had to pick it as a prize? For myself, yes. Oh, are you keeping one? Or no, no, they're away? prizes, okay. they're prizes, but still. Nope. No, we do not. In fact, we're busy. Very busy. Or are, are they, oh, restricted already. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're Nobody doing saw. a better job now of cutting them Nobody out. Nobody saw it. No but, one saw it. But Excellent. they are banned. Uh, so we've got some mail <laughs> here. The first piece of mail uh, is... Uh, it was recent, so I don't know where it's originally from. It's Kev. Wait, what? I only heard a bit of that. Game night at some point. Game yes. night here at my house for locals. Yes, at uh, some point. At, at some, some point. point. We have not figured that out. Mail yet. call. Yes, they are cool. They are very cute. They are very cute. I love cute stuff. Yeah. Like kittens. Oh, they're so cute and so much trouble. Yeah, it comes along with it. He knows he can get away with it because he's so mm -hmm. cute. So this, if I can open it, I'm glad it is packaged well. But always make Kev it. says, let me know I'll bring cupcakes. We always like Ooh, cupcakes, Kev. <laughs> yes, cupcakes. We will eat those cupcakes. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to take it out of the ends. Oh, or yes. I can, or I can we almost it. lost these, by the way. <laughs> Well, yeah, they almost went out in the garbage. Yeah, because they got put with recycling. We didn't realize that. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. got all confused when we got back and we had packages and all kinds of things. I would say it's the cat's fault this time, but it wasn't. No, I think it was mine. <laughs> <laughs> partially. That's okay, partially mine. They but just we got found them. Shuffled they got around. shuffled around. Oh my God. Come Get on. Get it out. There we go. Woo! So these are um, controller replacements for the Intellivision. So what you do is you undo your Intellivision controller and you pop out the disc and you pop these in and all of a sudden you have a working joystick, Woo, joystick. for the Intellivision. So I'm very happy to get these and I will uh, put them in my Intellivision in probably 2026. <laughs> at some point. Enjoy a stick. Enjoy a stick. Yeah. I will enjoy my Intellivision much more with that. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Not a fan of the discs. Oh, no. I actually have an external um, controller for the Intellivision. Is it this one? Same thing. I think it is this one. Likely ban Evader restricted. That's new, isn't it, in the chat? Yeah. Do people see that? Do, no. No, I don't think so. Let's see. Not published, published to, to chat. chat. Okay. Interesting. Good. Yeah, so I do have an arcade Sorry. style <laughs> stick for the Intellivision. Um, that is just an eight-way joystick. So if I needed 16, I can use those little joysticks. Um, let's, oh, nobody saw that. They saw it in the middle, in the tiny little screen. That's okay, we're back. Side buttons are still terrible. Yeah, they are. Yeah, so I would first use my um, arcade stick first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. As a primary gaming device. An eight-way joystick for some eight-way games, but not all. Uh, so this is actually for... It is a cable for my new Neo Geo. Ooh. There you go. So very much like uh, some other systems. Uh, it doesn't support stereo sound. Uh, through the output so it has a plug to plug into the headphone jack so you can get stereo sound and it mixes it through SCART mm -hmm. so that's one piece of the puzzle because I bought my Neo Geo and it came with no cables uh, I, it, I'm guessing because it was a Japan con um, unit? unit that they didn't oh. want to sell the, the power supply with it Oh. Because it wouldn't work if it was an original power supply, because they'd take 100 volts, mm. and uh, we don't have 100 volts here. Mm -hmm. um, so now I have video output. Let's open up this next one, which is another piece of the puzzle. Look at all this stuff. From DigiKey. <laughs> well, I kind of held it off. Some of it just arrived, too, um, till I had all the pieces. I didn't want to do it last show, because it was kind of a, a short show. So this is from DigiKey. 
I'm not showing you the box because um, it has my address all over it. My private address. <gasps> I do have a public P.O. box address. Here, put it over there. Is this going to come out this way? No, I'm going to have to cut the top. Mm. Come on. There we go. Well packed. So this is a power Ooh, supply. Fancy packing. Power supply for the Neo Geo. And it it recommended a really powerful power supply. So this was Hope it works. fairly <laughs> expensive. Um, because the mm. the multi carts that you put into it eat up a ton of power. Mm. Um, so they recommended a 3.5 amp at nine volts hmm. i believe so this is like a 40 dollar power supply it's uh it is weighty. hefty hefty it is weighty got a couple bricks in there there we go <laughs> gamma depth something expensive for the neo geo imagine, imagine that. that yeah so nine volts at 3.5 amp 9327 about 32 mm. 32 watt I uh, probably won't go up to 32 watts, or but it's good to have that extra room. So now I can plug it in, <laughs> and I have video Power output, <laughs> and no cartridge. <laughs> yeah. So uh, still need one more piece of the puzzle, but at least I know I can find out if it actually works. Does anybody know if the Neo Geo shows something on the screen without a cartridge, or does it just display a blank? Mm. Uh, yes, I was very careful to read through and make sure, and I opened up my uh, Neo Geo to make sure it was the new 9-volt version and okay. not the earlier 5-volt. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, because it, you, only the very early ones need 5-volt, gotcha. and then they put in the 9-volt uh, conversion inside of it, mm -hmm. and I have the coil and the um, power thing <laughs> sorry he did he did his research i did then. my research <laughs> yeah uh there was a page d dedicated all about which power supply to to buy yeah. it was a little confusing at first but then i figured it out mm. uh okay so this next one um it's not that heavy it's a modern power supply it doesn't have three pounds of yeah, copper in true. it damn it I could have sold that copper. yeah it's copper worth might be worth more than the power supply Probably. Mm -hmm. uh, there, and that's how I cut it. There we go. Uh, oh, I remember what this is. This was actually bought on the recommendation of Ivory Tower Collection, I believe, um, because he told me uh, about a sale on this. I'm just going to leave this in the box. It's a mm -hmm. bunch of parts. Um, it's the uh, Sophia 2 DVI uh, upgrade for a 5200. Um, and they had like, I can't remember how much off, but it was a very good deal that I couldn't pass up just for future use. Cause I do have multiple, uh, 5200s. So it would be good to upgrade. I think I only have S video output on my 5200. So this is DVI output, DVI. Which, okay. which you can convert to VGA, which is equivalent to an RGB output. So it would be better. Uh, better than what I have right now. So I think that is all the mail right now. And you can use the Sophia with a UAV setup. So it runs side by side. Mm. Even better. So let's see what's happening. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, hmm. I forgot to prepare for this, but we will do this and okay. we will do it live <laughs> oh the last strike contest yes so there is a uh contest for the last strike dx okay. of which i didn't win but other people did uh editor b1 uh with 442 thousand wow. points wow and to give you perspective i got 239,755, <laughs> which i'm i'm happy with i did pretty good and Ken, you got I got the 000. lowest score on the board. Excellent. Did you? <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, That's okay. Participation uh, trophy. Part exactly. You get I'm the fine blue with ribbon. The, I'm fine with the participation <laughs> ribbon in this yes. one. Yeah. <laughs> um, but what uh, Machine does is that he has this contest and uh, we participate in it. Mm -hmm. Let's just go to the first page to see what the prize was, if you remember. The flask. The flask. The flask. Is, yeah. Socks. 
uh, stickers, a patch, a button, a, a thing. I'm not sure what that thing is. It looks like a postcard or something. But yeah, it do yeah. doesn't list what advertising these are. card or something. Yeah, yeah. So uh, what we're going to do is draw the names out of a hat nice. uh, for the second chance drawing, and I'm going to not do that. editor B though. I'm guessing not editor B because they won one. They already won. Okay. Um, so I'm going to do that right now. Actually, Tanya's going to use the scissors. And I can uh, do that. cut up these We're names. Print a bunch of stuff, yeah. yeah. Just one piece of paper. What? Oh, perfect. And we'll just. I'm gonna print it out, and you'll cut it up, and we are going to draw it out of a hat. Sounds there good. We go. I like arts and it crafts. It is printed. I like arts and crafts time. So. Yes. So as soon as uh, Man Machine loves a jaguar, yeah. yes, he does. What is going on? Oh, oh the he's cat. Watching, he's watching the hamster in the printer. Oh, I see. Atari is quite fascinated with the printer. And in the meantime, uh, there is uh, a European Jag Fest happening soon in November. Uh, okay. So, yeah, uh, no, refuse. Uh, it takes place November 2nd and 3rd. So in just a month, actually. Scissors, please. Get you some scissors. Thank you. If you can cut them all the same size. So everyone, every entry gets... Every entry gets okay. a, a Other chance. than... Um, oh, you... Editor B. Yeah. Uh, uh, the European Atari Jaguar Festival, E-Jag Fest, takes place November 2nd and 3rd in uh, uh, near Dusseldorf and another city in Germany. I'm not going to uh, attempt to pronounce those. Uh, we celebrate the 35th anniversary of Atari Lynx this year, which, has been re which was released in 1989. The European Atari Jaguar Festival is a non-commercial regular festival for all the Atari and retro gaming fans from all over the world uh, and Europe. Uh, it is established in the year 2000, so this is their 24th-ish, depending if they skipped any. And the focus I attention is on Atari and all systems of the cult label. I wonder what that was originally uh, translated from. We don't want to miss uh, other retro systems as well. The more exotic, the better. So it's not just about Jaguar. The motto is bring your favorite retro console and have fun. All of you who would like to play again on retro consoles and trusty home computer systems, 70s, 80s, 90s, this is the right place. Highlights of the year. So there's a lot of special guests coming, actually. Carl Forehand from Songbird is going to be there nice. in Germany. Uh, Ander Lex is going to be there. Uh, one of the developers. Nice. He, he, he helped uh, make Jumping in Shadows, oh, Last Drag wow. DX. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Jasper Von Turnout, uh, he's a developer as well. Uh, Wyvern Tales and Critter Championship. Uh, yes, Tuna Games, a, di a distributor mm -hmm. uh, who distributes Bugs Trip, Asteroids Chaser, uh, Raid on Tri City. Missed the D there. A uh, bunch of other games. Uh, Mick Will, who made the VGA hardware that is modded for is the Mick Will screen. So you get ah. the new colorful screen. Nice. All the people there. Kerry uh, Kaxanen, uh, who's a developer for um, uh, Lynx. I, uh, not Jaguar, but Lynx. Uh, including a hands-on furnace tracker introduction. Extension turns music into ex ex executable 2600 TIA code. Uh, Walter Lauer. Uh, I'm not familiar with Walter Lauer. Hey, hey leave Bernie alone. Wendy. Alex Kraken. Time for kittens. Time. Oh, it's oh, catnip thank time. You. Walt, uh, Alex Kraken, uh, who's a developer. Bastion Stick, developer. Uh, not familiar with that person. Not familiar with that person. Uh, some magazines. A retailer. Whole bunch of. I'm not going to go. Through yeah, this. I was going to say. Are you I, I go just through? went, went I through know ones them. I know. I don't know them. Yeah. I know them. I don't know. <laughs> Um, can I ask you, so just to confirm, yes. Um, if them. someone's on the list six times, they get six entries or once? Uh, it is a maximum of three, so there should be only okay, three. Okay, that's what I needed yeah. clarification on. So cut them all up. So let's get... No, maximum of three. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure he did not include more than three of the same name. You can verify that. Okay. Right? Yeah. So here is a hat... And we are ready. No, we're not ready. Hold on. We are ready. We're not no, ready. We're almost ready. Give me a second here. Uh, you need the Cats Causing Trouble channel point to redeem. Yes, we talked about that last episode, actually. Mm -hmm. I have to make a note of that. So that's no. 
Editor B, right? Oh, uh, because they won? Yeah. Ooh. Yes, that is true. No Editor Bs. Yeah. So uh, just let making sure. I don't, we don't have any extras see. here. Let me just take a look at the list again. And you said there shouldn't be more than three? Um, per person? Yes. there's more than three. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> it's only three, I believe. Three per person. Three per person. So otherwise Are you can... sure? Because we're about to do this. Because <laughs> there's one person who has four. Uh, let me go to the We need to figure out the rules it. of the drawing before <laughs> we do the drawing. What are those paper strips for? We're yeah. doing... Uh, we're, oh, what? We're doing a drawing for... Um, the prize, second chance prize for the last strike DX contest. So Here it is. Uh, tch, 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 post second chance will be held live. Uh, it doesn't say. Okay, we're putting all of them in. So this person has four. Not editor B though, right? No, okay. editor B is out. Uh, so yeah. And then the rest is just the number of times they appear on the list. Let me just check my email. I am hand cutting confetti for New Year's Eve. That's, That's what you're right. going to see every Tuesday from now on. I'm just going to sit here and cut, cut confetti, paper. Cut, com cut paper, and then we'll just yeah. throw it all around the room. For the cats. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be fun for them. Yeah, very fun for them. Not fun for those of us who have to clean it up. But... Let me just check my email. Confetti. Okay, well, they're all here. Pretty sure it's three. Yeah, we got the cat map notification. Yep, we're, we're, we're going to do it in a very quick section, second. We're just working this out. Oh, okay. So, yes, it was whittled down here. So three for Mika G. Okay, so that that's the person I have. Yeah, an extra. We can for. take that out. Perfect. Okay. Is that it? Because there's only three. Total. Uh, yes. Doctor Clue has three. They didn't yep. have four to begin with. Uh, nope, they didn't. They okay, three. we're good. Uh, and we're not in there, right? Uh, we will, but we'll be rejecting our draw. Okay, so we're not. If in we there. if we actually... no, we're not in there. We're not in there. Oh, we should. Be you didn't print there. it. No, 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 no. I printed everyone. No. <laughs> no, you didn't. We were not on that list. Yes, we were. No. Yes, we were. I just cut them, James. Oh, well. I don't know what list you used. Oh, but all goodness. those, no, go back. Go back to that. I can One guarantee second. I can take them out and double check. Oh, no, we weren't. Okay. Yeah, I told you. Everyone's on there who should be. Let me double check my list. The whole this whole contest is in protest. <laughs> That's right. Just double check that the list you have there. I took out the editor, editor B because yep. they won. Every everything else is That's balanced. That's good. That's good. And there was an extra Mika Mika G. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we weren't in yeah. the list. Yeah, we're all good. Yeah, we're all. Good. I know he's so and and like I, I get in so trouble sure. for questioning him, but it's Never. like <laughs> something's wrong. <laughs> okay, let me hold the hat. Okay. And jumble We're it up. Good. Jumble it up. I propose an alternative slate of winners. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Everyone, Everyone in the, in the chat. chat. Yeah. 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 You can hear me. Okay. We'll pull Jumbling this and then it'll be catnip time. Thank you, Gamma Dev, yes. by the way. Okay. It is jumbled up. Okay. And you can see missed, it. I already messed it up a little too. So. Okay. All right. I've picked one. It's in my hand. Okay. Got Bring it in it out. my hand. And the name the is name? Dr. Clue. All Congratulations. Right. So let me show this to everyone. Yeah. There we go. Dr. Clue with the score of 79,830. Congratulations. Yeah. Machine will be in touch with you uh, about you getting your prize. And nice. we'll put that aside. Excellent. Okay, no. now. Now we can cats. give the kitties their catnip. They've waited second, long uh, enough. A second uh, coaster that we can use. Um, you can use mine. There's, oh, I have a bunch. There um, we go. Still to give away. Oh so. yes. Well, we gave away some in September, so we can Are give an ready? October giveaway. You want some? Yeah. 
Yeah, come on so in, Atari. We will uh, do that maybe next episode you're on. So next Tuesday. Oh, let's flip over to the cats because he's flipping over. Oh, oh he's crawling no, towards no, the cat no, now. No, you stay on your side. <laughs> Atari. Atari, he got distracted. Someone was walking up the Atari. steps. Psst, psst. Come on. Atari. Come on. Catnips. Catnips. There you go. There you go. Block that bad cat from him. I'm going to try. I'll do my best. Yeah. There he goes. Sid likes to take over everything and, yeah. that Atari does. I was just chatting yesterday about <laughs> the the te the reverse psychology technique I have to use to get them to eat the right food. It didn't work today for me. No. He's it worked figured for three. It, out. it worked for three meals. Looks like you're look at, look at these guys. Oh, oh yeah. they're high today. <laughs> <laughs> RC70, that today. catnip jar looks like my weed jar. Yeah. It is very uh, cat weed. weed jar ish. It's cat yes. Weed. It is called Dude, This Stuff is Awesome Organic <laughs> North American Catnip, by the Dude, way. Dude, this stuff's awesome. From, from Whisker City. <laughs> Whisker City. Whisker USDA S Organic Catnip. Well, you have to get organic catnip. Interesting. It is American. Oh, just, well, where only actually, the best it catnip comes from. It doesn't say where it was grown. It does say it's Packaged. distributed um, uh. by a company in Phoenix. But, oh, uh, okay, okay. Made in the USA. When they're about to cause damage, we need the emote to have the real robo voice do naughty kittens. Oh, that would be yeah. good. <laughs> yes. That oh, works. that's what you need. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's time for the games. <laughs> These guys are. Well, the cats are, are you uh, still all weeded your mind? out. Are you still losing your mind? He's losing his fluffy little oh, mind. You are so crazy. Fluffy what is up with little you? mind. You are so crazy. Covered in catnip. Um, so, we're going to be playing Turret Turmoil, a Dreadnought Assault. This is a 2024 update Ooh. from September 23rd. We were away, but now we're catching up. Yay! It's 128K game. It's by Paul Lay. Playsoft and Harvey mm -hmm. Kong Tin Kiwi Love. Um, it started as a, as a proof of concept in uh, January 2021. Mm. So we're going to show that video of the original proof of concept. Proof of concept. Because okay. I don't think I showed it last time. And there's actually no audio for this, or it's irrelevant audio. Ooh. And Ooh. this is a proof <gasps> of concept about pushing the 7800 hardware to its maximum. Oh, is to it show be because of all the sort of three-dimensional Just the graphics? number of things on the screen. A number of things, too. And, and there has always been a debate about between the NES and the 7800 about uh, which one's more powerful in terms of getting more things on the screen. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of people argue it's actually the 7800 mm -hmm. in terms of items on screen. That's cool. Um, the NES wins on in some other uh, areas, but this is... Uh, the 7800 does a very, very good job of number of items on screen. Yeah. Weren't the rocks a hazard? They're, oh, nothing is a hazard. Just, de just they're in the demo. background. Yeah. See, they're behind the look ship. At the backgrounds look great. I'm really excited to play this. It's, <laughs> it's a good game. It looks really it's good. It's so good. Yeah. Huge ship. Did we we play this already? We did. Okay, I do remember it now. Yeah. The background um, is is ringing the bell now. So, yeah, we yeah. played an earlier version of it, so hopefully yeah. we can get pretty far in it. Oh, fantastic. And show. So we played it uh, April 19th, just after it was released. <laughs> and uh, Harvey said, this is neither a work in progress or a demo. Call it a test for what the Atari 7800 hardware can do. Pushing the limits of Atari 7800 hardware. Sorry for this poor image quality. Ignore the audio. There was a soap opera going in the background. Blah, blah, blah. Excuses, <laughs> excuses. Programming by Paul Lay. Graphics by Paul Lay myself. There's only two types of targets on this spaceship that could be shot and destroyed. Uh, multi requires multiple hits. Game routines are not finished. I have no idea when this will be finished or what it will end up looking like. Happens to be about eight years since we, since we teamed up for the work on Atari Blast, which mm. is for the Atari uh 8-bit and 5200 which is an amazing game mm. we did play it a long time ago um i think it was on the atari 8-bit we played it uh coincidentally some of the uh designs from atari blast appears in the 7800 test why it looks similar to atari uh to atari blast and you will notice some things when we play it uh similar to atari blast as well uh they're very close to being finished this game uh, this is designed for a standard 7800 as a so-called standard cart. Hope you enjoy seeing this preview. So, and the one we're going to be playing today, mm. 
two levels have been added along with various graphical updates. A bonus a round was added and subsequently removed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Since I wasn't happy with, however, one thing taken from that is faster vertical movement, which I think makes the game feel more fluid. So let's fire it up. Let's get this over to you so you can play while I read a little bit. And let's switch over to the 7800. So we can see it. And you, yeah, Atari Blast is so eight, good. Eight, 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 eight. Thank you. No. Oh, he's full of beans. This cat is full of beans. <laughs> Stop being full of beans. Be a nice cat. There. Don't attack Calm. Bernie either. Calm. Which one? The bin? Uh, nope. Oh, yeah. Uh, A78. Sorry. That one? Yeah. Let me see. It's going up and down. Let me see. So am, I, am I just pushing it too fast? Cat, you're going to get kicked out of the room. Come here. Oh, he, he's full of it right now. Hmm. Right back to the core. Yeah, exactly. That's how cats work. Was the button, did the button work or was it I up the am plug? still trying to troubleshoot issues with this or the cable or the 7800 mm -hmm. with various things. So please bear with me. <gasps> so there's three difficulties. Look at this guy. Psst. Hey, 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 you. Stop it. Uh, what can we do to distract this bad cat? I don't know. Needs a toy. There. Oh, ball of paper. <laughs> there we go. So there is, it does say three difficulties, but there's actually only one difficulty. It's just normal. Okay. The other ones are placeholders. So, so there's just, no... Just pick normal. But okay. wait, before you play, first button is shoot. Mm. Uh, second button is turn around. Yes. So it scrolls constantly left or right. And then it's shoot or turn around, and then and it's you can just move up, all over the screen though. No, oh, you, you can. can move all over okay. the screen. Okay. Okay. But it's a const the background constant background constantly movement. moves. I do yeah. remember that. Yeah. And when you turn around, you go the other direction. Yes. And you have to take out all the turrets. Okay. So press the button to launch. Those are baddies. Avoid the bullets. And I think the. And then if that's a turret. So ah! Don't run into their bullets. You have to take out all the turrets. Oh, you can hold it. I'm like smacking it, smacking it. It might be faster pressing it, but holding it is much easier. So oh running my God. into I know, everything. I know, it's so busy. There is a lot of stuff. It's, and it's... The only thing you have to avoid on the ships, oh I believe, is the lightning. And I don't know if there's any lightning in level one. So you might, might want to move oh, away from okay. the edge of the screen when you turn okay, around. This, this, let's try that one more time. <laughs> Yeah. Where am I? Dead. Press the button. Oh, game There over. we go. Okay. Just one one life. All well, right. you can get hit multiple times. Yes, but it's one life. Yeah, so your um, shields are on the bottom right-hand side. Yeah, which... Bottom middle is how many turrets you have taken out. So there's six to take out. And zero, because you start. <sighs> ah. And then your points in the bottom left. Where's your piece of paper? Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> Watch out for Space Dragon. VVG Double Down says. So you have to shoot his head. There you go. He makes a frowny face. So that's your dock yes. that you have to go back to at the end of the level. Where are you coming from? Get behind? that. Get ah. that. There you go. Oh, yeah. There are power ups. So that's a shield. Power it up, power it up. I would stay away from the edge of the screen. So don't run into zappy things, and I believe those are zappy things. There you go. One down. Five. Oh, two down. Nice. So I will read a little bit more about this. Fall car. No. <laughs> Is that fall car? That no, looks like him. Okay. So, um, also an update. I should have said that the easy and hard options are just placeholders. This is PlaySoft on September 25th. I won't properly adjust them until I've sequenced all the levels. I'm not that great at games, so I'm trying to set the normal difficulty towards the top of my ability. 
Uh, the stars and asteroids in the background. In terms of programming, this is what he said. The stars and asteroids in the background are one star and two asteroids permanently allocated in each display list. The play field is made out of 16 by 16 pixel tiles. <laughs> Not the cables. It wraps around, doesn't it? Or? Uh, eventually, it's quite far in space. Is it? Oh, oh you have to collect the hostage now that you've de destroyed Where's all the... Where's the hostage? He's on board the ship. Oh, he's, I have to go back. He's in a circle, ready to be picked up. Yeah. One bar of I'm health left. I'm not gonna make it. Ah, Especially ah, not pressed no! against the, pressed against the edge of the screen. You're not. Yeah, because I flipped around. How do I pick up the hostage again? You'll see. You just touch him. Now go back to your home base. Yeah, I am trying not towards. to die. No, I don't want to die. No, I don't. Ah! So close. Uh, the play field is made so out of 16 close. by 16 pixel tiles. All blong is the pixels are double width. There are 11 of these tiles permanently in each display list so they can be scrolled on and off the screen. Each tile can select which palette it uses. They are quite a, they are quite a big building block to work with, but it keeps uh, Maria DMC cycle, DMA cycles down. The force fields lasers are dynamically added to the display list. They are the first things added so it can be done quite quickly. Then the ground sprites are added, then the remaining sprites. It's around 30 sprites maximum. I did spend some ROM space on each. Psst! What are you doing? No, don't chew cables. <laughs> oh, God, that was terrible. Where am I? Very vicious. Oh, my gosh. I thought I was dead. Exactly. Didn't see myself for a second there. I am dead. That was terrible. Get away from the edge of the screen. Drive me crazy. <laughs> Oh, oh, right no, into the I, bullet. I, it was terrible. It was terrible. Oh, I just need to die. Again. I just need to die. That was too bad. Okay, I did let's spend try that some again. ROM. I did spend some ROM space on each display list having its own plotting routine, but to be honest, I don't think I gave much performance improvement. There you go. There's a reason for rage resetting. Beware of space bubbles. Tanya yes. James said, "Don't die." <laughs> yeah, you yeah. blew it. I did blow it. I got so close. So close. I'll just try one more and then I'll pass it on to James. So just sacrifice can... Bernie to Sid. Chords are more important. True. Rage suicide, yeah. Oh, you, uh, you know what? I, I, I'm I <laughs> I'm not choosing my moments to flip around. Play defensively. Yeah, I'm not playing defensively. That's part of the problem. This is a game you have to play defensively. Ugh. Oh my god. I'm trying to hit the turrets. <laughs> Don't. Play defensively. Oh my god. There's too much on the screen. <laughs> Can't tell what's what. <laughs> Those look like power ups. What? Lots of shields. Those were four shields. We well, got two of them. Oh, bullet. Oh, oh you're going right into every bullet. I, I, I can't see them. If, if collecting bullets was the object of the game, you'd be winning. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and another one. I it's it's I find it so busy. Ah. Bubbles. The bubbles are coming. Ah, oh, right into the first one. Terrible. Okay, you're done. No, one more. <laughs> it's a fun game. There's so much Rage going on suicide. in this side. Oh my gosh. See that that's from Atari Blast that Yeah. It was in between every level of Atari Blast. If you've not played Atari Blast, Oh my god, play Atari Blast. It's so good. Um, it's... Ugh. Don't get too close to them. I'm just trying to... Ah! <laughs> it, there's so much going on! <laughs> it's very hard. Every level is themed for a different game in Atari Blast. And it's so much fun working your way through the levels. It's, and it's not it's... good to be on the edges, but then, like... Yeah. It's so hard to see, <laughs> like... Ugh. Right into it. Oh my gosh. They get so close to When I too. see bubbles, I'm waiting for Bub and Bob to show up. No, no Bub and Bob in the middle of those bubbles. Give it to me. This has been a killer game for the 7800 back in the day. It looks so good. Plutus and Sirius have nothing on this game. Yes. Yeah, that, I mean, that can be said for like all the homebrew coming out. It's just astounding. The 
<laughs> I'm not sure what I'm hitting. Bullets. You're smashing right into every bullet that those turrets are shooting. It's because I'm trying to shoot the turrets. Yeah. And they shoot right at you. So Yeah, they do. You have to shoot, get out of the way. Shoot, get out of the way. Bubbles. Because evil bubbles. <laughs> How can bubbles be so evil? Space bubbles. Yeah, th when you're shooting the turrets, you're shooting at them, and you're right in line for their bullets. So you have to shoot, move, shoot, move. That's the... Uh, the key? Yeah. That is the key. Atari Blast, the Deadpool Wolverine of Atari shooters. 100%. 100%. Just, uh, I got four. More. Two more to go. Ugh. I'm so close to dead. Yes, you are. You got about two hits left. Looks like... Oh. Right into bullets. One oh, hit left. Don't. Why are you coming this way? Because you're not shooting them. <laughs> uh, bubbles! <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. There's no way. I'm so dead. You have I'm one more so, hit to go. So dead. Just dodge the bullets. Dodge oh, the bullets. Please. That's all you have to care about is dodging no, bullets. No, no, go away. Go away. No. <laughs> You're very close. No. <laughs> no. Oh my god, I almost ran into it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> my god. Yeah. So nerve wracking watching Ooh, you play. Level two. <laughs> you want to play level two? No, I want to play my own game where I have health. <laughs> You have two things of health. I got through level one. That's what I wanted. Good. Ooh, Mission it's asteroids. Woo. Green blobs in space. You should get full health back, by the way. <laughs> nope. You made your bed. Now you have to lie in it. They gave you one health. <laughs> Thank you for They're, the one. Think of them as lives. You oh, be, I ran right into it. I keep... You uh, should be happy. Now, that's a buzzer. You're going to run right into it. And dodge. Oh, I didn't even see that. Lightning. Kay. That's okay. Your it's turn. It's all over for you. It is all if over. If this is normal difficulty, I can't imagine what hard is like. That is correct. It's just Tanya playing. No. <laughs> it is hard. It, it is, is hard. There's is a lot on the screen. I do find it a l uh, busy. I find it busy. It's easy to miss the stuff that's it's, going on. It's because you it's to really, know really what beautiful. to look at. It looks really beautiful. Yeah. It's, it's gorgeous. See, you ran into it. Oh, what did, did you I? do? Yeah. Oops. It's really easy to do. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in the background too that's dangerous. So. And they have to turn around. They they take time to turn around. Yeah. So if you so they start take going... advantage of that. Oops. Did I run into it? Yeah. You ran oh into another God. one. See, L listen to him. What are you doing? Stop running to the bullets. I was doing so much better when I uh, was practicing this. Does anyone know what graphics mode this uses? Ooh, good question. I didn't uh, make a note of Strawberry that. Strawberry System, I didn't see what your original question was. Anyone else like that show? Which show? The Strawberry System's feeling kind of ignored. I didn't see it. See what uh, show you were talking about. Yeah, we were playing Do you mean and Deadpool and Wolverine? I didn't see it. Tanya did. I did. I oh liked my it. God. It wasn't as good as... Earlier ones? I liked the... Probably the first two uh, Deadpools. Oh, they finished The Sopranos last night. I did like The Sopranos. I watched it back in the day, so I haven't seen episodes in a very long time, but it's a great show. So many bubbles. Get out of here. Um, I didn't have HBO when it was on, and I haven't... It wasn't on HBO. Uh, it, oh. in well, it was, but in Canada, it did play on, like, CTV. Did it? Yeah, it did. So at, oh. at some point they did start playing the whole series. On a yeah. regular over-the-air channel, they played Sopranos. It must have been heavily censored. Uh, no, it was at night. Oh, I don't, it must have I been don't remember night, if it was if, if it was heavily censored, but it was like prime time. Uh, Sopranos of... was great. I nearly cried. At, yeah, the finale was good. The sort of what you know is coming and the. Um, Somewhat ambiguous ending, I guess. It's not really, but uh, but it's good. Excellent. What is that guy doing to the ship? He's smacking it. <laughs> he's smacking the ship, even though he's being rescued by it. Yeah. Did you distract him with paper? Uh, yeah, he's calmed down a bit now, thankfully. Yeah. God, he's so crazy. 
Oh, Atari does not like that. <laughs> he doesn't? That's the hostage James rescued. Yes, in theory. It's funny how he just kind of holds on to the outside of the ship. <laughs> like, instead of you just, you well, know... Well, he's got a spacesuit on, so... True. And, and the ship is not going super But fast. if I was being rescued, I think I would definitely want to get inside the ship. But that's only room for me. one. It's true. If you look at the or size... Or maybe you can't open the hatch while you're in flight. Oh, so could be. That's a possibility, too. Oh, my God. Oh, there's too many turrets too close together here. I gotta get away from... That uh, scully dragon is is pretty terrifying. Okay, I gotta deal with this dude. Yes, you do. Terrifying. There we Good go. job. Psst. What is oh, he doing? Cats. Get it. Ooh. Wide. Oh, that's nice. Cat. Hey, Atari. He's just he's just after the box. So. I don't know about that. Yes. Oh, that's Get mean. Out of here. Oh my God. Yeah. I gotta. Make some room. Psst, what is happening, cat? <laughs> Cats are like menacing me while I'm trying to play. They're on my side. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Let's get some. Get Ball some. blazer balls in space. Yes. <laughs> Even Atari is like. Yeah, single seater fighter. Yeah. Hey. Oh, <gasps> you too. You. Cats are in a mood they today. They are in a mood. That mood is anger. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Did you die? No. No, but there's just so much going on. I know. Ah! When I, as soon as you clear out. When ah. does that thing go away? It doesn't. It goes on and off. Oh! Does it? So you have to get through oh, it. Oh, there. Right now. Oh, I see. Oh, my God. I'm down Holy to cow. Zero. More and more things every level. Yeah, it just gets more. Like, again. Uh, I think this wins for the ah. number of things on screen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> RC70 first level already had too many things. And this has even more. Uh, beware oh. the Amiga Boing. <laughs> oh, thank God. I got a bunch of shields. Just room for the pilot and Grogu. Correct. Oh, <laughs> Grogu doesn't take up much space. No. Where did we leave that? We got to the end of that, didn't we? Yeah, we finished it. For... for the for season now. that was out and we have to debate on whether we're keeping Disney Plus or not. So. Yeah, whether we move to something else. Let's we'll see, let's we'll ah. see. Ah. ah! Stop it! Good job. Oh Is that the end? That's the end. No, I have one more. It went doo -doo 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 -doo. Isn't, Well, that's that the end of the that end? one. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think it's really interesting how it, oh, the, oh, oh there you go. It maintains. There he is. It maintains the. Uh, oh, oh no! Uh, well, I was invincible for a second, so I ran through it. Okay. Um, it maintains the direction, so if you flip around, it becomes even more terrifying because they're going the <laughs> same direction as you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you and have then to how be do you shoot them? That. Like, oh. Yeah, you have to really be watchful of what the enemies are like and what they're doing and direction that they're... Oh my God, get in there. We don't have Hulu, RC70, in Canada. Hulu no. isn't a thing. It's it's American. So all the shows that are on Hulu are on other things. They're licensed Yeah, licensed I, I, I think elsewhere. some of them are on Disney+. Plus. Like, I think, like... Oh, the, my God. What the hell? Oh, my God. I barely made it through that. <laughs> I've never seen that before. How was I supposed to get through I that I don't think normally? you... I think you, you push them and make space for yourself. Ah! I guess so. Like I shoot just one of them? That's... Yeah, enough so that it moves out of the way and you can get through. Oh, nostalgic. We're thinking that, uh, thinking of the same. I have Disney Plus and Paramount oh Plus and may let one of or both go. Yeah. Oh no. Oh my god. Yeah. RC70 says, oh weird, Disney bought out Hulu here so you get both now. Yeah, Hulu oh. was never a Canadian streaming platform. It's weird because the Canadian streamers have different content. Yeah. Uh, so strange. So it's it's a little weird. We have Prime, Prime, Disney Plus, and Netflix right now. Yes. And then we kind oh, of thank oh good job. Oh, we kind of like to every year s swap out. Yeah. Disney Plus for so something else. See what's on. You know, so we the had rest of it. Crave, which has HBO for a while. We did have that for quite a while. Um. Oh God. Get through. You made it. Um, 
But yeah, the offerings are a touch different. The thing is, I really want to watch the last season of What We Do in Shadows. Mm. I know you don't care. It's okay. <laughs> so we might have to extend Disney Plus for another a month or two because it's yeah. coming out in November and I, I do want to see it. I do want to see thing? it to the end. Oh my god, it's not dying. No! Ah, got hit. This is nightmarish. Yeah, our Cindy. It was really weird to watch poor things on a Disney service. Uh, I haven't seen poor <laughs> things. I do want to see it. Um, yeah, Disney's kind of like, eh, whatever now. Well, we have kid stuff and we have other stuff. Disney has a part called Stars, which I don't think I, I noticed in the American Disney Plus, which that. has all like Family Guy, American Dads. Futurama, which I, I think might be on Hulu. I so think those are on Hulu. I, I think it's just differently marketed. Just remember, uh, uh, anyway. Disney distributed Pulp Fiction back in the day. Really? Yes. Not through Disney. But through but one of their... Through one of their companies. Production companies? <gasps> Almost back Oh, that's form. awesome. Good job. Um, Disney owns... Lower Decks! Uh, Miramax, I think? <gasps> dun, 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 yeah. Oh, it does Similar push to back. us for P plus, the last season of Lower Decks starts later this month. We'll probably keep it long enough to finish that. Yeah, and then we were, I was thinking of <laughs> ah. maybe trying out Apple TV because there are a bunch of yes. shows on it that I, I find quite intriguing, but it might be after we finish. God damn it. Ah! What we do in the shadows. But then if Mandalorian comes back with another season, we'd miss that. I don't know. It's hard. Good thing they is they, you. they keep... Like, the ones that are made for the channel stay on the channel forever. That's very true. Yeah, that's very true. It's just ones that are... That just kind of are purchased by license for them, by them for a while. Yeah. Those are the ones that go away. Um, okay. RC70 says Severance must watch. Oh, yes. We did start Severance we a long time ago. We started it. Actually, I, when I we were visiting it. Darcy, we watched a few episodes because they had Apple TV, Apple, Apple TV or whatever it's called. Apple. Yeah. Um... So, and also the soccer one, um, whatever it's soccer? Yeah, the one about one. football in England. Uh, I can't think of the title of it. Don't I've heard it's very good. So Oh, you've heard it. The comedy. Good. I the comedy. thought we started Ted watching. Lasso. Ted Lasso. Yes. It's supposed to be very good. So I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind seeing that one. Too. Where's the hostage? Yeah. But we try to, we try to. What to, the hell? Where's the hostage? I don't know. It's in space? Maybe it is. What the hell? <laughs> Are you missing one? No, I, it's, I have to collect the hostage. Did you miss it? I must have. I went through the... Did I not even see him? Um. I through this bombardment of nonsense again. <laughs> bombardment of nonsense. We are thoroughly... <laughs> That's a great name for a game. <laughs> it is. You just have nonsense. James's new... New game. New game. Oh, there he, there is. he is. Bombardment of nonsense. You must have just missed him. <laughs> Ah! Oh. Okay. Oh. Ah, I don't like those. Ah, uh, that thing homes <gasps> in on you. Oh my goodness. I have no health left. You have no health. Uh, we've been enjoying the boys. Yes. Quite a bit. We're on, on Prime. season three. Yeah. Uh, Watching a bit of Lord of the Rings. Yeah. James isn't so keen. I'm. It's pretty. pretty. I think it's fine. It's I I'm still enjoying it. Fine James is me. not enjoying it as much. I'm enjoying it. Oh, this game. This game is challenging. Just get there. Yeah. Look at Carl that Carl G says also love the boys. Yeah. Yes. It's just so crazy. Oh, it's so nuts. Oh, I got two health left back, and now this level's gonna be crazier than the last one. Uh, dragon uh, monster. Nope. Not fun. Not fun. I feel like uh, every level you're at, the turrets require more Damn it. more, more um, bullets. Oh, you're do. so dead. Yep. <laughs> I need Unless shields. Unless you get a, a power up somewhere. I need a bunch of shields coming up like that. Oh, 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 oh. Thank wow. You. Just in time. It gets nuts, nutser. Yeah, how far nutser. are we? We're in season three. Season uh, three? halfway through season three. Yes. So not the late, the most. The, look at those. 
Jellyfish. jellyfish. Space jellyfish. Space space jellies. <laughs> wow, it's like the water level. Yeah. <laughs> Turrets Damn or curator. James eating bullets like a Tanya. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> hey, I'm on level three. <laughs> yeah, he is on level three. Hey, hey, hey. Or four. Isn't it four? Oh, I, I think know. you're on four. Maybe. Three or four. I can't remember. I thought you uh... still playing with the, the rolled up ball of uh, paper, Good. by the way. Good. <laughs> Are the shields power up a bonus for eliminating the dragon? Don't no. Know. I think it's random, isn't it? It seems random. Although you do s tend to get shields when you're At the really beginning. low. Yeah, some games do that. They're like, ah, oh, you're low. We'll you try need to some shields. throw you a lifeline, maybe. Come on. Thank you. Need to clear out a bit. Ah. Uh, Can you not run into them? No. Oh. They hit you if you run into them. There you go. Oh, backwards jellyfish. Oh, they take a bunch of hits. Yeah, it's the simple things in life. <laughs> <laughs> Go away, dragon. Thank you. Oh, oh. Maybe it is yeah, the dragon. Yeah, I think it is. I think Ooh. it depends on how much. Oh, maybe. It was the dragon that you time think so? too. Maybe yeah. uh, whoever suggested that is correct. Oh my God, two in a row. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, you okay, really I'm staying on to... this side. Oh boy. Oh Damn boy. It. This is not an easy spot. I think I'm gonna just have to keep going and then attack the whole ship and then go from back. the right hand side. Yeah, that's not a terrible idea. Yeah. There we go. This is a much better. They come from behind. Always. Always. There you go. Now there is a theory I have is yeah. that you leave one or two of the, the enemies left. Oh, so they keep going in the, in the same direction? So they... Oh, God damn it. Nope. Ah! So that um, the next wave doesn't spawn. Yeah. Because as soon as you kill the last one of a wave, the next wave spawns. But I think they just go off the screen anyway. Damn it. I need a dragon. Ooh. Stop. Oh, yes, there's a dragon. Get on the other side. Oh. Can you monitor the cats, please? Yes. Yeah. Hey, he got Bernie. Damn it! He got Bernie. You! 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 Game over. Whew, that's hard. That's good. Hi. I love you, but you have to be good. <laughs> Explosive space jellyfish. <sighs> that is correct. You leave one or two enemies so they spread fear to, <laughs> of you to their friends. <laughs> yes. That's right. Tell. Tell, tell your friends. Tell the others. I'm what coming you've seen for here. them. Yes. Uh, Welcome, PG. Uh, oh my God, that's a tough game. Mm -hmm. What level did I make it to? Four, four, three I or think four. You were at least. In, I think you were on four. I think you finished three levels, didn't you? Yeah. You dropped off three yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. So I made so it to level on four. four. I don't know how many levels there are right now, mm. but that that was challenging. <laughs> um. I think we move on to the next game. Okay. Yeah. We got another game I gave game that to play. a good play through. Oh, that was excellent. Um, it was really fun. Really, really gorgeous fun. Gorgeous graphics. Really great enemies and enemy patterns. And the power-ups and everything. Power it feels are cool. hard but well-balanced. Like, I think it needs more firepower power-ups. And, like, I didn't get any shields. I got one firepower power-up. You got sheets to towards the end. But, the, yeah, the no, wise... not Sorry, not shields. Uh, protective... Oh, I got I orbit. got that a couple of times. I didn't. Get but it I at all. I never got a shooting power up, which would be one. nice. The wide one I think would be really nice. It'd be nice to get two at the same time too. Yeah. But um, anyway, yeah. that, that was really that cool. That is on normal <laughs> level. <laughs> I would say that's probably a good level for normal. Yeah, I think it is actually. If I played it and I, made it to level I four, I got my through level one. First so... try was that my first try? Mm, yes. Yeah. So if I made it to level four yes. my first try, I think normal is 
probably at a good level. Yeah. Because there's people way better than me that can dominate this game, and they should play on whatever is it was it called hard. Yeah. Um, and nice. there definitely should be an easier than that because that is, is, is challenging. Needed. Yeah, easy that's is really needed. challenging. Hi, what's up? I'm sure Esmeralda can just uh, blaze through it, not lose any health at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to take a look at uh, the next game, which is Mattress Monkeys, <gasps> which I picked up at PRGE. Here is the box. Don't hurt me mode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't hurt me mode. Uh, so let's just show off. I mean, we're going to go into more depth um, on Atari Age Day when we uh, kind of unbox everything. So there's the front of the box. And there's the back of the... Let's try and get it not shiny. Mm -hmm. There we go. It's treat time. The box there. Yum. Ooh, yum, yum, I was yum, hoping yum, someone... Yum. Oh, Gamma Death. Thank you so much. There's the manual. And it is treat time before we pop in Mattress Monkeys. Very good Yay. timing. Are you ready, cats? Okay, let's start up the bedding. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he is, he, is he is ready. He is ready. Okay, come here. Okay, ready, everyone? The bedding has begun. So, no, got to move that joystick yeah. over there so it's not annoying. I'm trying to get it out of the way. Cats, over there. <laughs> it is time to bet. It is time to bet. And you can flip it over so they can see oh, how it's yeah. going. Start your bet. Start your bet. Start your betting. Place your bets on the cats. There's the bets are starting already. The Let's cats are eager. Very eager. Sit on three and four. Um, All right. Last time you got five plus last he show. He did. You got five actually. Exactly. Yeah. Um, which only one person bet on, yeah. but it's definitely not guaranteed this time. Oh, we've got some, uh, some believers in Atari oh, today. Oh, nice. Yep. Oh, but can you guarantee that Erlen's not watching? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can look at the list. Yes, that's true. Um, still got Sid one and two open and Sid five plus open. So plenty of room for everyone. Still a minute left. Oh, Sid one and two is covered now. Nice. Just need one person on Sid five to cover all the spread. Yeah. Hi, Hi. you can't. No, you can't have my treats yet. <laughs> and thank you, Gamma Dev, for triggering that. <laughs> no. Oh, babies. No, it's not for you, baby. Not yet. No. <laughs> you have to earn it. You have to press the bells and earn it. Oh, oh, we got five oh. plus for Sid. Oh, Excellent. two people are on that. We'd 30 like to seconds see the spread left. covered. There's a lot of Just people so. who have faith in Atari. Atari? So. Oh, yes. Are you, oh, are you? lots of bets on Atari. Yeah. What do they know that we don't? I don't know. Atari. He's oh, like, Atari attacked Sid earlier. He was like, I'm not putting up with it. Oh, so that might be the indicator. Atari true. might be a little he's, more aggressive yeah, this time. He's, and got, the he's got some. Uh, no, oh, no, no, no. No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> He's so excited. <laughs> he is going crazy. Uh, RC70 says, oh. I was I was that one winner I was supposed to get next treat time, but forgot. That's, oh, that's okay, okay, RC70. You, get it next time. you can spend your winnings any way you like. Okay, cats. Okay, you ready? I'm going to close the door. Oh. Or I'll close the ah. door. Ah. Get that door so the Atari doesn't run out with his treats and really mess things up. Yeah. Okay, cats. All right. Everyone ready? Are you ready? Sid Are you re ready? Sid is really ready. Sid is. And go. Oh, oh Sid's Sid. off to the races. Atari, hit the bell. Hit the hit bell. It. Hit it, buddy. Oh, and Sid Sid's again. Got two. Hit the bell, buddy. Hit the bell. <laughs> Come on. Let's get those bells going. Come on, bell. Atari. Oh, oh good. double That's hit. That's one. And Sid. Yeah, Sid got it as well. Wow. Atari's on the no, board. No, Sid again. Sid's up oh to my four. gosh. Wow. Atari. Sid does not. Oh, oh my Sid. gosh. There's Atari. Atari's got two. Oh. Sid is dominating it. Sid. He is doesn't chew. <laughs> swallowing it whole. Swallowing it. Six to two. Seven Sid. to two. He's already five up. Oh, Atari's wrecked that. Now oh he's back on the board. my he's gosh. At, he's at eight. <laughs> Atari, Come on, the Atari, bell. Atari. Oh, it's, it's interfering. It. It's game point oh for my Sid. Oh, oh, Atari. Sorry, Get Atari's one got more it. in. And it's over. Oh, my God. Ten to four. That's six Atari up on Atari. Cat. 
destroyed. Oh my goodness. Absolutely destroyed. People had so much faith in you. Oh. So did I. <laughs> and Tari. What happened, baby? Oh my goodness. Yeah, a larger treat. That's a good idea. That was domination <laughs> by Sid. Look at this cat. This crazy cat. He's so fast. He's so fast. Six points. He was hungry. Did you feed him lunch today? Did you get lunch? Yeah, he like, got lots of lunch. Did you get lunch? Because you're acting like a cat who <laughs> hasn't eaten in days. So, by oh. six whiskers, Sid wins. Super Sid. Super Sid. Oh, Cafe my Cafe Man 2D takes home the prize and with a two others. 15 to 1 wow. ratio. Wow. That's a good return. That is a good return. Very good return. He wow. is a growing boy. <laughs> he is. So hungry. Oh, my goodness. Well, Sid, great job. I've never seen you ring it faster. <laughs> I, uh, that was insane. Yeah. <laughs> that was out of control. Yeah. Cameraman Duty knew it. Well, he was jumping up and dinging the bell on the couch. Oh, I know. It's out of control. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so, it's Mattress Monkey time. Mm-hmm. Now, this is a very uh, special cart. It's a very special cart. Um, it, the game is made by Phantom <laughs> Logic Studios uh, by Matthew, uh, Matthew Halpern, 8-Bit Poet, who is in the chat. Right there. Epic yep. treat time. Um, who did the game concept, graphics, sound, and packaging. And Zachary Scolero, Zach Attack, who did programming <laughs> and game design. And Mark Yannis, Marco J, who did music programming. We met up with 8-Bit Poet and Zach Attack mm -hmm. at PRGE. <laughs> And uh, we actually interviewed Zach Attack about this game oh, at PRG. Yes, so if you right. want uh, yep. uh, in, uh, a little bit more in-depth interview about mm -hmm. Mattress Monkey, check out our PRGE Day 3. Yes. It is indexed, so you can check that out for a little bit of explanation about how they did this magic first time ever. Mm. This cartridge contains the 2600 version and 7800 version in one cart. Oh my God. So depending on which console you plug it into, mm. it will bring up the appropriate game. That's awesome. There's no dip switch. There's no double ender. It's all contained in here That's through so magic cool. by sensing magic. which system you're plugging it into. <laughs> BBG, it's witchcraft, burn it. Burn it, light it on fire. <laughs> That's right. It is a nice trick. The chameleon card. Yeah. Yes. And appropriately named. So first, I'm going to plug it into the 2600. Okay. Just to show this magic again. Yes. Um, because it is super, super cool. If you have stock BIOS. Yes, it does do recognition through BIOS mm -hmm. a little bit somehow. Um, so I do have to take out my 7800 GD out of here. Switch it over to S-Video. 7800 anyway but first we're going to be on the 2600 there Ooh. we go so we're plugging it in to the 2600 right now let me switch over to the 2600 input and there we go mattress monkeys Ooh. on the 2600 you can see in the cat cam, taking it out, it's 2600, pointing it in the 7800. Switch, I love, it's like a magic show. Switching over to the Nothing up this sleeve, nothing, nothing up, up that sleeve. sleeve. Nothing up this sleeve. They are normal, Impressive. normal consoles. Normal console. Phantom Logic, and there you go. <laughs> the 7800 version of the game. Yeah. Very cool. I've not played this game. Not. Sure, so let works, me actually. read the instructions yeah. so we're all both aware of how to play Put on it. the credits. Yes, there put on go. the credits while we are reading it. Monkey spinning monkeys. That's the music. The borders are cut off. I fixed it. I fixed it. I just had it on the 2600. Yeah. Um, introducing mattress monkeys. Jumping on the bed is a favorite pastime of for these two monkeys. That looks off, doesn't it? No. It's all fine. Is it? Okay. It's just squished to the left. Okay. Um, 
They've even made a game out of it to see who can catch the most flies. Sounds like fun, uh, but this game isn't without dangerous risks. Bounce too high and end up in the ceiling fan. Uh, lose control and fall off the bed. Will you, what will your play style be? Take your chances and go for the glory or practice patience and go the distance. Well, we don't need to know how to set up. Where are we going? Object of the game. Mm -hmm. The object of the game is to collect. You can actually put it on. It's previous. Zero players. You want to put the previous on? We will in a second. Oh, zero. It plays by itself. Yeah. Uh, oh, object of the game is to play as many flies, uh, collect as many flies and bonus bananas as possible while avoiding the deadly ceiling fan. After the first stage, the player must also avoid falling off the bed. While your monkey is on the mattress, please listen. Subscribe. Oh, thank you so much <laughs> for subscribing, BR Pocock! Hello, Bruce Robert. Uh, while your monkey's on the mattress, use the joystick to move left and right. Once airborne, you can slightly influence your monkey's direction with the joystick. Mm -hmm. The button will pause the game. In the challenge stage, the roles are reversed and you play as the fly. Use the joystick to move your fly up, down, left, and right, and diagonally. Try to burst all the bubbles. Mm -hmm. Bubbles in this game, too! Yay, bubbles! Uh, before the 20-second timer runs out. Look below. Look out below. The monkeys are trying to catch you. So it's actually the opposite. You flip and play a different character. Uh, scoring. Flying banana chains value based on the current stage. Stage 1, fly is worth 1 point. Banana is worth 5. Stage 2, fly is worth... So you play the fly on this level. You have to avoid the monkeys. Get the bubbles. Uh, stage 3 flies are worth 5 points, but as worth 25. During this challenge stage, each bubble popped is worth 5 points. Strategies. Position your monkey various distance from the monkey landing on the mattress will influence your height and trajectory. So it depends where you are on the curve, how you fly up and where you fly up to. Finding that sweet spot will help you reach the flies and bonus bananas without being thrown into the ceiling fan. Uh, Chameleon Cart at Phantom Logic Studios. We're always believing in pushing the boundaries of what's possible in retro gaming. That's why we're thrilled to introduce the Chameleon Cart, a proprietary innovation that brings you two versions of the same game on a single cartridge. Mm. Chameleon Cart is designed to adapt to both Atari 2600 and 7800 consoles. Plug it into the 2600 and you'll get classic gameplay you expect. But when you insert it in the 7800, the game transforms with enhanced graphics. Bringing more detail and color to your gaming experience. There we go. So now we can go to the previews. Press button and go to exit. Press button. Go to previews. And I'll show you. Fly Hunter. Nice. Which is also released at PRGE. Very nice. Very nice. And it should cycle. Through. It should cycle. Through. Maybe not. Press the joystick. Bigfoot's ah. Bluff. We have not seen this game at all. So I'm not sure. It looks like you capture photos of Bigfoot in That's the woods. Cool. Like yep. a Where's Waldo on nice. the 2600? Nice. Maybe. Let's see. Octopus, Octopus sure. which was the first game that we demonstrated with the dual technology. So they mm -hmm. made it... Uh, we have played this a while back. Mm -hmm. I completely forget how to play. Yeah. Um, but I remember having fun. Okay. Oh, All is right. that it? That's it. Okay. So let's two player? play two players. Hi, cat. Are you crazy? Mm -hmm. We're going to have to clean something up in a second. So I am the yellow monkey. And... No, don't press a button. Okay. Just up, down, left, right. And we're trying to catch flies. Oh, Kenny finally got a fly. Oh, crying cat. So you can press up to go higher oh. and down to go lower. Okay. But you can run into the fan, and like I did, and lose a monkey. Oh my god. Um, and when the first person loses all the ah. monkeys, the game is over. So it's kind of cooperative. So yeah, you don't want... Ow! <laughs> don't press up. I didn't press up. Oh. I just... Was just got in... a good bounce. I was on the sine wave or whatever it was. <laughs> Gave me the most power. Monkey power! <laughs> ah! Oh, you have no lives left. I Please know. don't die. I'm not... I, this is my first time playing this. <laughs> and ah, it's game over. It's hard. It's very cool, though, because it's all about the physics of the monkeys. Yes. The only other console I think of, yes, the Game Boy Color. Some of the original Game Boys could be enhanced when playing on a Game Boy mm. Color. Yes. 
Um, so some Game Boy games had extra colors. Um, and you could put them in the Super Game Boy yes. as well and plug it into your SNES and see the colors too. Okay. And somebody actually pointed out the... the uh, I can't remember. Was it... Oh my god, can The Odyssey also had something like that? I think. I was chatting with somebody. Okay, let's do it. Don't die. We need to make it to the bonus level at least. Oh, I can't jump up unless you're on the bed. Making yep. the, it bounce. Interesting. Yeah, See, I've never, I can't physics. remember playing with two players. Did you play this last time you played it? No, no, this is the first maybe. time. Oh it, yeah, I think it's the first time I played this one. So it's, it's safe cool. on the sides, but the big points are the bananas in the middle. Ooh, Ooh that banana. was very close. Poor monkeys. <laughs> They, they are okay. Someone made some comment about uh, someone losing a finger jumping on the bed. Oh my god, what? That sounds like That's a horrendous. 80s, 90s childhood if I ever heard one. That's right. No uh, no guardrails in the 80s. Or 70s. Oh, oh, it's your turn first. Avoid the hands. They go left, right, left, right, by the way. So you follow where the hands aren't. The cat is insane today. He's out of control. He lives close. One more bubble. Oh, 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 I think it comes back around. Just stay in the middle. Perfect! Did you get them all? Yeah. Nice. I like that one. I think Darcy was on when he left. Okay. This is so cute. I love the concept of it. Oh! oh I did not smushed. do it as well. Ah! Oh, that was sorry. me. It's not, not your fault. No, but I hope I, I did it. Oh. <gasps> well, at least we got to see the bonus. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Steam stream keeps hiccuping, so gonna catch you on the rewinds. Oh, well, thank we you refresh. for joining. Thank Beer you for Pocock. joining Beer Pocock. Ten you kills perfect. James not so perfect. <laughs> oh, it defaults back to one player. It does. Mm, doesn't remember. That's Reissue okay. of carts. No. <laughs> no memory for remembering which how many players there are. This is really cute. I really, really like the concept of this game. It is. It's very hard to so, position yourself. It is, and I can't quite get the... Sometimes I just fly up to the ceiling. Because it also depends on where the other monkey uh, lands. Lands, yeah. I think? I think if you're or on the edges, it? you'll you'll go even higher. No, maybe it doesn't matter where the other monkey lands. It's so cute. So is oh, this, it's super cute. Is this like a traditional like 90s waterbed? Yeah, it is. <gasps> he got me! Oh, Sid got me. That's it's it. your turn! Ah, at least you start in the middle. Yeah. Kind of like modern frogs and flies. Yeah, yeah, very similar to that. I compared it to Wavy Navy in one of my posts. Just the, No! No flies for cats! He's like, so I the graphic, fully disagree, the he says. The graphics are ah. so convincing that uh, Sid thinks it's real flies on the screen. Oh. oh my god. Yeah, this is definitely a problem for the kitties. Oh. Yeah, Sid oh. is oh, that was bad. very observant of televisions. So now you can fall off the bed, so you have to be careful. Luckily, this is just a bonus screen. <laughs> exact opposite of what yep. I was telling my brain to do. That's uh. what happens. Couch compliant, but not cat compliant. <laughs> not cat compliant. No. It's Sid hurt. is down here. I don't know if you can see him. Very He's hard. watching the screen. Very hard to make a game He's cat compliant. He's staring at the screen. This is the most exciting thing he's ever seen on the show. I'm Monkeys just telling and you. flies. Monkeys and, and flies. He's like, I love it. I love this game. Sid Maybe, approved. Yeah. <laughs> the only... Oh, is the screen smaller? The bed's smaller. Yes. That was in the instructions that you weren't oh, listening to. I wasn't listening because I was... <laughs> watching the chat or something. Yeah, you can fall off the bed now. Oh. But if you, if you land on the side, it's fine. But you can fall off the bed and lose a monkey. Oh. Oh, monkeys. I have no monkeys left. Oh, no. Careful. Make the flies again. Oh, I am dominating the score. Oh, you are, because oh, I'm trying goodness. not to die now. I, I did terrible. Uh, my first round of um, flies was good. There's one fly left. One fly left. Oh. No! Oh. 
Cats are part of our target audience. <laughs> That's true. It's a big audience. Like it's a smart to smart to target ah, cats. Zach Scalero, pro pro tip. Hey, Close Zach. hands do not need to be avoided. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Nobody reads the manual. Nobody even <laughs> listens to it. So pseudo graphics. <laughs> we actually read it this time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll do. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Misty warned us. Do one more game. Is, why is it so far? Oh, you know why it's so far over to the left? It's because this is S video. Oh. Let me try and find a better one. Who's playing? There we oh. go. What? What is going on? That's a better, better view. Okay, two play. Well, the monkey does jump on him. Oh, you really? You stand in the waterbed because he just reacts, right? True. Uh. So as long as you're on the side, you'll never die. You probably won't get any points, but... Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> you could fall off the bed in later levels, though. Uh, could you? Oh, it does pop you over to the left or right, so you can. Right. So closed fists are fine. So on the way down, you're fine. It's on the way up. That's the danger. Always get the bubbles at the top, because you will miss them. And not get the points for it. And not be perfect. Oh, no, they come around again. Okay. Oh, no, they don't. They don't. They, you, oh, you don't so get you all can get not perfect. Yeah, I'm wondering why that bed is so many flies. Some lazy cleaning lady? <laughs> yeah, it's a filthy bed. I was going to say, got, uh, where are the larvae for those flies growing? It's got Cheetos and Doritos all over it. I was thinking and something more... I love more, the zoom. Oh, my God. Something more sinister, but, you know... Oh, yeah, we'll stick with not sinister. Thank you. <laughs> not sinister. Somebody's, uh... Under the bed that needed to be cleaned out. Maybe. Ah! In the mattress. <laughs> well, it's not a mattress. It's a water bed. It's so a water bed. That's not possible. Down to one monkey each. It's a super cute game. And I think it would be fun <gasps> oh, for, gosh. like, even, like, little kids. Because it's so cute. Oh, no. We have no monkeys. <gasps> Oh, oh no. no, that was you this time. Yeah. It's the one <laughs> of four rooms with a dead hooker in the bed, yeah. Yes. Uh, have to be under the bed. It's this one. Or, or, or by the side. Who knows? Yeah. It's very cool. Yes. Yes. And the concept of being able to put it on the 2600 or 7800 is awesome. It is Fly Hunter also dual? Dual game? I don't, I don't remember you guys saying that. Mm. I have it over here. I'm just going to pop that in because I don't remember that ever being discussed. Or do I have it? Or was it released? No, it's not released yet. That's why. It was just demo. It's a great party game. Yes, this is a game oh, no, we God definitely finished. should play on, on, on our gaming night because I think this would be really fun for people. It would. This is Fly Hunter. Same company. I'm just gonna see. Because I don't remember this ever being discussed. Is there a 7800 version? Phantom Logic. No. <laughs> it is not. It's a place. Ooh, by the way, the new release of Stella supports mattress monkeys now. Oh. It's not, says a bit poet. <laughs> that is correct. That's right. It has uh elf support. Hmm. For uh, Stella. Yeah, I posted about that. Okay. Very fun That's really, games really today. Fun game. I'm glad I got a chance to play it. I've never yes. played it before. It's so much fun. I think I, I saw it at PRGE, but I didn't yes. really get a chance to play much. Well, because we was did there. show it. We did when we were interviewing um, Zach Attack yes. about it. We did pop it in both yeah. on the stream. Uh, I'd love to see the XLXE version with support for four plus, four plus players of, mm. of of this mattress monkeys <laughs> more monkeys yeah. now you have to make <laughs> a Atari 8-bit version that would be a, a one a pretty cool four player game it would be chaos though chaos yes. um, I have an adapter that can support up to eight players there's adapters mm. that can port, support up to 16 players in the Atari 8-bit mm. so that's too many monkeys that though. is too many monkeys you'd have to have very <laughs> tiny monkeys <laughs> yeah 
or multiple beds you can jump up and around to. Yeah, jump between yeah. two beds maybe. Yeah. Um. So that's the show for today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're gonna need a bigger yeah, bed. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out. Uh, just to reiterate what's coming up shortly. Uh, this Friday, in a couple days, we mm -hmm. have John Shampoo on the show for the exclusive world premiere, kind of, of <laughs> Spider's Arcade, at least yeah. online. Yeah. Because I showed it on the PRGE yeah. stream, yes. but, you know, on a console playing on the internet, not yeah. not at their booth. Uh, and we're also, we have the interview with John Champo, and we're also going to be unboxing and playing his new game that was just released at PRGE, Tutankham Arcade. That's exciting. So that's very exciting. Very exciting. Quadtari Mattress Monkeys. That's true. Um, yeah, Quadtari works in the 7800. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does it in 7800? Yeah, it mm. works. In, so you can have four monkeys. Yeah. yeah. Multijoy should also work at the 2600, 7800, but I don't think there's any games available. No, not that I know of. No, I've never heard of that i didn't know it worked on the 26 and 7800 but i guess it does it's mm -hmm. the same joystick uh i think the physics engine would cry with that many objects mm -hmm. bouncing it would mm -hmm. uh what else is coming up probably sooner than later uh if we don't have anything scheduled we'll be doing the vectrex special that'll be fun pointing the camera at the vectrex trying those new games when trying is that going to be games. don't know don't know okay it's kind of a slot in kind of show yeah. when there's i've kind of caught so, up so no Atari guarantee stuff. i'm getting to play or <laughs> uh do, okay. do you really 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 no want to do you that can you can day? fit it in wherever you need but i'm okay. hoping it's me <laughs> okay well we'll do that then. yeah um i'm kind of putting a 2600 day on next tuesday mm -hmm. right now there's an exclusive world premiere batman <laughs> um We'll see if that happens. And the next one that's scheduled is a spotlight on John Hancock mm. uh, about him as a streamer and his uh, games that he's produced. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. And we're going to try and dress up these cats. We have one <laughs> costume. Um, I've been looking online for another costume okay. for the other cat. Okay. The delivery times are not guaranteed for a Halloween, mm. so we might have to go out and look I can for make it. one. I can definitely mm. make one. Yeah. I can make one. Okay. For the other one. For the other cat. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, I've also scheduled just today uh, exclusive world premiere of a collection of games for the 7800 that has not been posted anywhere yet. Mm. So I'm not sure when that's going to be announced, but it's called the Falling Leaves Collection for the 7800. Oh. It's a collection of games. Cool. Um, that that uh, sounds very cozy have not been shown yeah. PetSmart has costumes we got one of them was that at PetSmart yeah it was at PetSmart did you see any other costumes that would be appropriate not that I think that pet? I want to put this guy in I, 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 but I know how to make him one okay yeah so That's I good. think I can make one quite easily yeah yeah Thank you, uh, Cricket. I can probably use my Cricket for that. So. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. So that's the shows that are scheduled. We have so many more that yeah. are unscheduled right now. We're going to have a lot mm -hmm. of interviews coming up. So that's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to say goodnight to everyone. Yes. S. Ramirez. It's Kev. Pseudographics. Danny VC. Chelsea Donnie Mao. Nostalgic 8-Bit Poet. Pseudographics. S. Ramirez. Polly Gawk. I feel like Zach everyone Scalaire. jumped in today. There were so many, it was a so lot many of uh, people joined today. us today. It was wonderful. Beer Pocock. Yeah. Carl G. Double Down. Cafe Man 2D. Randon, Randon, Randon e. Noel. Oh, Randon yeah. E. Noel. Oh, yeah, there yeah. you go. Dan ABC. Um, who else? Any other names that are. Yeah, pop out. Pop out. Mention Gamma Dev, Ivory Tower. Oh, Ivory Tower Collections. Uh, yeah. Strawberry System. Oh, yeah. Carl G. Um, and that's Ramirez. the top of the scroll. That Just goes rando back. is fine. Just Excellent. rando. Rando it is. <laughs> oh, rando ni Noel. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, that didn't nope. show. Oh, it didn't show. You know what? The spam detection's getting great. It's getting really good. Because it says best viewers on, and then it gives a site, but it's blocked it. It's, it's not showing in the chat. That's awesome. So yes. we do see that there is spam, but it's not showing. Good job, Twitch. Yeah. Getting better. Don't have to block as many. Mm -hmm. um, oh, thank you for making uh, Mattress Monkeys. It's so cute. It's yes. so fun. Yes. Uh, it's great that it goes back and forth between the two different stages. I, I really like it. Um, 
yeah, the variety is always good in a game. Mm -hmm. So you want to kind of change things up a bit every once in a while mm -hmm. uh, for to keep people uh, on their toes mm -hmm. and to give them a bit more gameplay. Mm -hmm. um, I am planning to continue developing now in the next little bit, hopefully oh, before the end of the year. That's good. I would like to have something put together. It's not a game, but it's something I need to do for the 2600. Uh, kind of a demo, but not really a demo. And I've got okay. it all mapped out, so okay. I just need to program it now. Nice. Uh, it shouldn't be too taxing on me for to be able to get it done. Um, and it should be interesting. I think okay. the hard part is going to be like the music and sound, not really the sound effects, but the music Okay, might be difficult. I did get somebody to help me with music. Mm. Uh, we'll see if it translates and works with what I have in mind. Mm. Um, is it, it is it all nice. Christmas songs? Is it an all Mariah Carey Christmas yes, spectacular? It is. Yeah, it's, I'm going <laughs> to do an animation of Mariah Carey, <laughs> five frames of animation. <laughs> For singing the greatest songs oh, of all time. James's favorite, yes. <laughs> no. No. That's terrible. Uh, that is not what I'm making. No. No. Okay. But uh, I will reveal it on the show. I shouldn't have any difficulty, but I will reach out to Your. the community yeah. if I do need some help okay. with uh, my kernels. They might be tight, depending, but I don't think so. I think I can get it all done. It should be fairly straightforward. <laughs> I can't live. Is that uh, lyrics from a terrible song? Uh, from a Christmas song by, by Mariah Carey? I, I was or thinking non Mariah Carey. Or a non-Christmas song? Is that Mariah Carey? I don't know. Is that like Whitney Houston? But now I can try out my Neo Geo, uh, kind of, power it up. Nobody answered my question if there anything comes on the screen with no cartridge in on the neo geo mm. i bet it does it's an advanced enough system that it was in the era of show insert cartridge level mm. of of uh abilities like 2600 you turn it on there's no cartridge it just goes bleh, mm. bleh. oh without you that's the song i know this song it's playing in my head i was just like i didn't realize that was mariah carey i haven't mm. heard that song in a long time Thank you for following Yay! Rando. <laughs> Glad you like our show and the cats and anything else you like. I think there's something on the screen with no cart, but it's been a long time, so I'm just guessing. Excellent, because I want because I don't have a cart for my Neo Geo. Oh yes. But now I have power yeah. and video, so That's I'm going to try it uh, right after the show because mm. it's just sitting out and I've got everything sitting out. <sighs> Should be fun. Test though. it out. Yeah. You can test it out right now. Everyone could see if it's working. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's I pretty can. boring. I don't care. <laughs> Let's do it. Is it plugged in? Uh, I don't know if you can show it, though. No, it's easy. There you go. Here's the console. Hey, oh thank you for God. subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. That's awesome. Wow. Here is the video cable. We're going to see if it explodes. Yeah. Link for James there. Yes. Self-test. System self-test. Oh, oh thank so you. It's Kev. Unplug the SCART. Plug in the Neo Geo SCART. And hold our breath. Plug in the video to the Neo Geo. Did we just spend a lot of money for a nice shiny brick? Yeah. Well, not right. even that shiny. Plug in the power. Burst Burst. case burst into flames. Million to one shot. Million to one shot. Yeah. Do you, you know, smell that 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 burny plastic smell? Magic smoke. <laughs> yeah. Leave, leave the body of the Neo Geo. Yeah. Oh, I hope not. Look at Atari. He's so excited to see what happens. Are you excited about this? He's right next to it. He's like, he is gets, that a new court? Nobody gets to see my Neo Geo explode in real time. Yeah. He's like, is that a new court? I don't think I've put my teeth into that cord yet. I don't think I've chewed that cord. No, it's it's a it's a completely unchewed cord. So I won't plug in the controller because there's nothing to do. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, so yeah. let's sit immediately, choose through cable. Nine, 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 nine. Switch over to that. Max and... three thirty mega pro gear spec. I don't Yes. That's no, what it says on it. Oh, is that oh. supposed to show on the screen? Um and then we will switch over to the seventy eight hundred input because that's scarred. Yeah. Okay, are you ready everyone? Drum roll. Let's switch over to that. It's not Mattress Monkey, so we'll take that off the screen. 
Okay. Are you ready? Oh, I hope it works. Let's reset. On. Oh, did it change? Yeah. It changed. Went to blue. That's <laughs> something. Let's try it again. So there is a video signal. It's a blue but screen. It goes out of spec. Just make sure. What's SCART CV? I don't know. SCART RGB. Blue equals no game, says it's Kev. Oh, okay. So that's good? Oh. So if blue means no game and there's no game, then that that's... sounds promising? Yeah. Let's just do this again. Yeah, because that is out video output yeah from the neo geo otherwise it goes full screen right watch this full screen and then i turn it on and it's a four by three blue mm. so and it does have a texture to it if you look at it it's got cross hatches oh and... that's what gets kept says i see either blue or cross hatches yeah okay good how BVG, how do you buy console in that one single game? Cause... If you knew. <laughs> <laughs> do you know how much the games are for these things? Yeah. They're unbelievably expensive. Yeah. I do I do have a multi cart on the way. So I'm We'll gonna... be able to test it fully then, but Yeah, so it hasn't been shipped yet. No, it'll take um, a while. Um yeah, it's coming from far, far away. Mm. The Neo Geo AS has built in diagnostics give different color screens depending on test results. Boot the system without a cartridge and just make note of the color. Blue equals all tests passed. Yay! Yay! Thank you, Pseudo Graphics. I'm well aware of the prices. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you have a Neo Geo. There okay. You go. Yeah. There They're two hundred day yeah, back in the day new and now they're still two hundred dollars yeah minimum yeah they go up to thousands of dollars yeah they kept up their price costs money to spend money <laughs> yeah so yes, it does i have a multi-card right. with um metal uh metal gear metal mm. gear metal oh my god what the hell is the name of that game uh full, no. no i always want to say full metal jacket <laughs> wrong wrong yeah the run um, and gun yeah yep uh, rare popular fighting games I imagine are pricey. Actually, the fighting games are cheaper because I think more people bought them. Mm. I don't like fighting games, so luckily I don't have to buy those. The sky above the port was the color of a Neo Geo passing its startup test. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. All right. So. Oh, there... Super Dodgeball is one of my faves on the Neo oh. Geo. Oh. Uh, Windjammers is on the Neo Geo. I do mm. like that game. Windjammers? Not paying hundreds of dollars for it, though. There is a homebrew scene yeah. on the Neo Geo. Yes. So maybe I'll do a homebrew uh, show, but mm -hmm. only few of them are released for free. The ones that aren't free are... Hey! No. No. Be nice to Bernie. Are like minimum $350. Just for the... Just for the cart. The digital... Or for the cart, yeah. Yeah. And it goes up to like 500 Wow. $500. That's US. Oh my God, it's crazy. Corey loved Windjammers. They had it to Command HQ. Yeah, nice. Windjammers. It's, it's, you're throwing a Frisbee back and forth. Oh. It's a two player game. It's a one on one, and you're trying to get the Frisbee into the goal. Okay. It's Pong. It's like supercharged Pong. Nice. Oh, can you get that cat away from the uh, new just, things over there? Causing all kinds of problems today. <laughs> Neo Drift Out, Neo Turf Master is also awesome. Nice. It's like kids, the first Christmas after Star Wars release yeah. just got us a piece of cardboard that said redeemable in 1978 for action yep. figures. Yep. They released the, sh released the movie <gasps> and then didn't have action figures ready for Christmas. They got a piece of cardboard for Christmas. So funny. Neo Geo is still the console for the rich as it's always been. Yes. It's so expensive. Yeah. <sighs> so I have a multi my my plan is I have a multi card for the old games coming mm -hmm. and then I'm going to buy a SD based multi card. Oh, OK. That I when can they can become available when they become saying, available. Yeah. Um, and then I can play homebrew that's available. OK. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's cool. my plan of action. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. So Good that's stuff. it for today. Yes. Uh,
extended a bit more, but eh. Yeah, it's all good. We were about to stop, but yep. yeah, it's good oh, timing. I think I saw Atari Beer Pong just start streaming. Hey, so let's all right, let's raise. Send you over to our friend Atari Beer Pong. Can I pause that? There we go. Let me just make sure that they are, they are streaming. streaming. Uh, following Atari Beer Pong is streaming. Woo. So. Let is raid Atari beer. I wish it did autocomplete. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> um, so thank you for watching, everyone. And we'll be back on Friday, if not mm -hmm. sooner, depending if I want to do an after dark, random after dark. Go. We'll see. Go. And uh, have a great week and stay safe, depending on where you are yes. in the world. Yep. Stay Keep safe well. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye bye, bye. everyone. Bye bye. That's not the outro. <laughs>